All right, uh, let's look at the homework 2.4, problem number one. All right, so uh, function is uh, f of x equals 4 minus x squared. And we want to find the uh, uh, following. Uh, so this is uh, basically a difference quotient here. All right, so let's do that. All right, so this is going to be, uh, this is pretty easy, right? Because all you really have to do is evaluate each one. So f of negative 1. So you plug in negative 1 for x. So it's a 4 minus negative 1 squared. So 4 minus 1. So it's going to be uh, 3 minus f of 2, f of negative 2. So 4 minus negative 2 squared would be 4 minus 4. So it's actually 0. All right, then you have a one, a negative one, uh, minus negative two. So you're adding two. So that's going to be one. All right. So this is going to be three over one is three. All right. So let's type it in. So that should be three. All right. Let's check. All right. So we got that. All right. Next one, uh, we're going to have to uh, compute this. All right. Let's do that. All right, so this is going to be, we just have to do it one by one. All right, so whenever you see x, we're going to put negative 2 plus h in it. So it's going to be 4 minus quantity negative 2 plus h squared. So you can see that the x is replaced by negative 2 plus h. All right, minus all right, f of negative 2 f of negative 2 again we did that it's actually 0 so it's a minus 0 which really doesn't do anything and divided by h All right so this is going to be so let's multiply out so you're gonna have 4 minus if you multiply this out you're gonna get uh, negative 2 squared would be 4 All right so 2 times negative 2 times h would be negative 4 h right then h squared. So I just multiply out so we get that. Then all over h. Then we can cancel. Uh, let's see, you have a 4 minus 4. So you can cancel those out. Then uh, by distributing uh, this negative sign to uh, each term, we get. Um, positive 4 h minus h squared over h All right then next step would be uh, the top two guys have uh, both have h in it so I'm going to factor h out then you would have 4 minus h and over h so we have a common factor on top and on the bottom, so we can cancel those out. So you end up with uh, 4 minus h. All right, so uh, let's type it in. So answer here is 4 minus h. All right, so let's check the answer. All right, we got that. All right, last one, uh, we just have to take the limit of the result of part b as h approaches 0. So uh, let's do that. Alright, so part c, I'm going to just go ahead and write it down. So we take the limit of this guy, part b, which came out to be 4 minus h, then we send h goes to 0. Alright, so but it's a 4 minus 0 is 4. Right. So let's type that in. So this is this is four. All right, let's check. All right, we got that. All right, uh, that's it. Looks like we got all three of them correctly. And uh, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.